Hi everyone and welcome back to Lead Coding. And for this episode, we have Sashrika with us. So she is a hackathon product specialist at Major League Hacking. She received the GHCI scholarship. She also received Google Women Techmakers scholarship and Goldman Sachs scholarship. In this episode, we will talk about Major League Hacking. So let's start the discussion. Okay, so first of all, Sashrika, briefly tell us about the program. Sure. So I joined Major League Hacking as a coach. uh it's a form of a uh, hackathon evangelism that we do here so we are an organization that uh focuses on supporting hackers and organizers and ensure that they have an educated experience at these events when they participate in hackathons create projects it's like a 24 hour event where they work on projects and teams and then uh learn different technologies so that is what is majorly hacking all about and as a coach it's our uh responsibility to you know support them help them out with anything that they need and uh, organize the event and support the organizers too so that is something about the coaches program right now i'm working as a hackathon product specialist for their virtual hackathon so my job and my aim is to design and uh create create virtual experiences for them so because since we transition into the digital zone we want to take we want to take care that the learning stays as such and it's not hampered in any way even if we are working digitally so my work is uh, wholly respond like wholly is surrounded by the fact that you know we work on creating great hacker experiences for their digital hackathons which happens every weekend uh which is organized by major league hacking all right so what were the eligibility criteria so for the coaches program the eligibility criteria was mostly you know your experience with hackathons and your uh So, you're, so if you're a college student, that actually helps. And it's not just like an eligibility criteria per se. It's more of what your experience is like, and if you are the best best fit for this program, if you can help uh, be, take this program forward, you know, have good communication skills because that is important once you, once you're working and talking to hackers and helping them out. So, if you have that passion to you know work in with uh, the hackathon industry and help them uh, learn something new, I think you are a good fit for the program. Right, right. Okay, so what was the procedure of the application, and total how many rounds were there? Sure. So uh, there were um, so there was an application process in which they were given a few questions which you have to answer based upon your experiences. So you and the, uh, there are a few questions which in which they cover bases from your hackathon experiences, the time that you organized the hackathon. or probably worked with a different team where you know they are organizing an event or something or if you created a tech led a technical project what was that like like questions revolving around your experiences basically post that uh, there once you once you go through with this round they reach out to you the team reaches out to you uh, and then they have tons of questions up, and uh, i think three yes three interview rounds happen i think this was last year december when i applied uh the reason that i know about this program was because i was following major league hacking for a while on twitter i went to a hackathon i found a small sticker that said major league hacking and i was really curious to know what was it about so i went home i googled it i found out that it was an organization uh based out of us and they've not expanded to the apac region yet so as soon as i heard that they're expanding to the apac region i was thrilled that the application to the, to the coaches program was open I applied to it. I answered their questions, and then they reached out to me uh, with, you know, for scheduling the interviews. There are three rounds of interviews, and all three of them are basically, uh, again, to know more about your experiences. So they have questions revolving around your personality, uh, you know, your hackathon experiences, your work in as uh, in the community, and how you take that forward, how you lead your community, how you're participating and act proactive in your efforts in, you know. Tech, uh, pursuing technology further so they talk more about that and then there are some questions which revolve around um which revolve around what you do currently and what you aim to do further so they want the program to be catered to your needs as well when they when you're working for an organization they are very particular with that that this program is all about the coaches and the organizers and hackers so if you're helping the organizers you're helping the hackers it they also take care that you get what uh, you get what you want out of the program as well for me this program was all about you know uh getting more hackathon experiences networking with like minded people and having fun uh and traveling a lot of course <laughs> but more or less it was it was incredible because then you uh once you through with all those three um rounds there you just get to talk to different mlhers uh it's a great experience because once you through with that you get a chance to experience this wonderful community of 
uh, coaches who are ready to help you with whatever you need and uh, it's like your family after that <laughs> So my first hackathon experience after MLA, after I joined uh, the MLH Coaches program was in Singapore. So I went to Singapore. I'm based out of India. I went to Singapore to organize a, a hackathon there and support uh, them with their, you know, day-to-day -day happenings, organizing some mini events for, for them to break out of their monotonous routine. And I think that was the best experience that I can define because um, in that hackathon, I realized that there are so many things that... Uh, the Indian hackathons are, you know, there are misconceptions about hackathons and there are so many things that the Indian hackathons, Indian hackathon community are not, um, you know, uh, covering uh, uh, everything per se. So the first thing that I found different was their judging format, which I realized that there's the judging can be done in a much more fair way possible. And I've seen a few hackathons who are uh, not working the same way in India and so I realized that there are so many things that we are unaware of and if we just go ahead had these different experiences which MLH coaches program provides us we can obviously make the hackathon community a better uh, you know better community better place to learn new technologies and then try out different things so I think this is one thing that I would like to add upon my experience uh, in the hackathon community so far because that was the the first three in uh, suppose that I went to two other in-person hackathons and then we went into lockdown so everything was digital po uh, post that but mostly it was it was a great experience even the in digital hackathons I think I had the best time organizing those and creating like being a part of the discord server community and helping out hackers there okay so what additional tips would you like to give to the viewers sure so to be a part of the coaches program i think the best tip that i can give you is be very passionate about the hacker community if you are passionate like experience go and ahead and have some experiences and hackathons and see if that is something that you like and if you're really passionate about you know taking the community forward and doing something for it i think that coaches program is the best fit for you because then you'll be able to experience all these wonderful things that the program provides and also utilizes for your career goals at the same time uh, while working and giving back to the community in general so uh, i think the best tip that i can give you is be confident, be yourself, be authentic in your interviews, and also make sure that uh, you're working, you work, you're working as into the coaches program, your way into the coaches program, only because you're passionate about the community, and that is how I think uh, you'll be, you'll you'll do good when you're in your interviews. All right, thank you so much, Sashrika, for sharing your experience with us. Have a great day. Sure, no worries. Thanks all.